Hello everyone, welcome back to another banger video. Today, we're going to be using machine learning to predict housing prices in California. We're going to be using Python uh, in the Jupyter Notebook environment. So yeah, let's hop right into it. So for this project, we're going to be using the California housing dataset, which is readily available in the sklearn.datasets package. So let's go ahead and import that. Right, and we're going to print out a quick description for the data set. All right, now we're a ready to pair our data set. We're going to split it into features and labels and further divide it into training and testing sets. All right, now we're ready to create our machine learning model. We're gonna use a random forest regression model because, or the random forest regression algorithm because it's the most accurate in the past with predicting this type of real estate price. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and run this. All right, looks good. Now we are able to use this model to make predictions. So we're gonna use our testing set for that. Looks good. And finally, we're able to evaluate our model's performance using metrics like the mean absolute value, the mean squared value, the root mean squared value, and also the R squared score.
right and finally let's add the r squared score and run this all right, so our absolute errors are a little higher than we'd like, and our R squared score is a little lower than we'd like, but it is more accurate than random, but just a little less accurate than we'd like. All right, and finally, we're gonna add some charts that we can really visualize some of the data. So let's go ahead and do that now. First library we're gonna be importing is matplotlib. and Seaborn. All right, so do uh, I don't know why my collab is bugging out, but Then let's add some labels to it. now there we go we get our graph of actual prices versus predicted prices and we could just add in a, another graph maybe like a bar chart so of or like a histogram of the residuals um, residuals are the differences between the true value and the predicted value and we can visualize this in a histogram really well so let's go ahead and do that now There we go that looks pretty good so that's going to be it for today uh, if you found this helpful uh, go ahead and drop a like on the video leave a comment share it with your friends and yeah that's going to be it for today we're going to catch you in the next one